Star Wars geek girls, they're geek girls that like Star Wars, and sometimes cry. Go ahead, sorry. Hello, welcome to Star Wars Geek Girl. Um, I, as usual, I'm here with Lizzie. Hello. I missed last week, um, but I'm back. I'm Hello. ready to welcome go. Back. Uh, healed up all that. No, click the button. Um, yes. So, not too much Star Wars news going on, um, except Bad Batch, which is always going on. Mm -hmm. We have the latest episode, episode 14, War Mantle. Um, what were your spoiler-free thoughts on War Mantle? Spoiler-free. I really enjoyed it. Um, mostly because it brings back a character that we have not seen in a bit. Um, like many episodes? Yeah, many. No. <laughs> he gets one episode in Clone Wars. And then he gets like a few episodes in Rebels. That that's the spoiler free thing. But I he's one of my favorite characters. Um and I think he's cool. Uh the whole episode was kind of cool and kind of like scary. Um other than that, it was really good and people should watch it. Yeah, very good. I think this might be one of my favorite episodes so far. Not above Hera. Mm. Hera's at the top. <laughs> but right below Hera. Mm. Um, yeah, it was really good. Really intense. I like, it felt more like we're finally building up to something a little bit more because like other episodes were like their own little story. And then they had like a tiny little drop of like something that might happen, like where the series might be like headed towards. And like, that was mm -hmm. cool, but like, it was nice to be a little bit more like, like getting into it, you know? yeah i got you so yeah i enjoyed it a lot enjoyed seeing the character that shall not be named yet um, mm -hmm. yeah good episode good. people should watch it yes watch it okay spoiler free is done spoilers ahead you've been warned dun, dun, dun. Um, okay wait so did you so did you okay i have a question did you know it was gregor no okay i'm no, glad i wasn't I'd, the other one he well because they they all look the same, they look the same. <laughs> so That's... and it, like and his hair isn't his hair wasn't how it was in the clone Before. wars when he had the little kind of like shaggier little mm -hmm. thing and then it wasn't and then in rebels he's like totally bald so i was just like oh it's a clone with nice hair yeah i just you know? like I was just worried that I was gonna get something from my dad that was like, you didn't know that was Echo <laughs> or Gregor, fake fan. And I'd be like, oh, I, <laughs> I don't know. So oh I my was, God. I'm, I'm glad. No, today, okay, story about cell paralysis time. Today I posted the quiz and the quiz was like matching the lightsaber color to like different Jedi, but it was like, if they've used this saber color, like, at all then it counts so like like I counted like when um Obi-Wan when like or when not when Anakin uses like the green lightsaber and attack the clone stuff like that mm -hmm. and so I post the quiz two minutes probably like two minutes and I get a message from your dad and he goes I have some arguments I was like <laughs> great <laughs> And he Great way to start the day. He sends a picture of Luke from a comic using a yellow lightsaber, which I didn't know about. And then Ray using the Ky Kylo saber in Last Jedi, which I hadn't counted. I forgot about that. Mm. So, it, like wow. two minutes. <laughs> wow, he really, he really. <laughs> it was like my you phone. Like if you look at my Twitter notifications, it's like. The Rogue Rebels liked your post. Then message for the Rogue Rebels. <laughs> I have arguments. You should, uh, every time you do a quiz, just have it approved, like Rogue I Rebels. I need them to uh, proofread my quizzes. Sal Paralis approved. <laughs> it, mostly if it's like comments. I did, I, I did amend the quiz. I did take his points into consideration. I fixed it. Um, yeah. That's good. 
<laughs> yeah, that was, I forget where we were, but that happened today. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I wouldn't have guessed. So, of course, my dad came to the rescue. Yes. Um, um, you're talking about Gregor. Gregor, yes. He's and we Gregor. didn't know it was him. Because he was just like, yes. oh, it's a clone. I, I think he's my favorite. I don't know why. He's just cool. He works in a yeah. restaurant. He wasn't once. wearing his cool clone commando armor either, which didn't help. He was wearing no, good looks. I think it, well, it might have been commando. Down. I don't actually remember right now. Like, But it, it might have been commando, but he didn't wear his helmet and he didn't have like the yellow paint job or anything. Yeah, so it was just, just like, like the he's torso just like, he just looked, and thighs. Yeah, I was just like, oh, it's a dude. <laughs> dude. It's a clone dude. Mm-hmm. Um, I uh, I thought it was, okay, we're kind of going all over, but like the, the, the concept of uh, the concept art for like the stormtroopers was used for these new for these oh, clones these new for these new stormtroopers and i think that's really really cool because yes, like i saw we'll, them and i was like that looks really familiar we'll get on <laughs> we'll get there we'll get there. yes okay um the episode starts with this dude who we now know is gregor running through the forest and being chased by clone troopers uh and they have like dogs and they kind of look like the dogs from like the mandalorian i don't know if that's what they were yeah um, the ones that we'll get a twitter <laughs> message from Twitter like, message from the Rogue Rebels. I have a correction. Uh, <laughs> um, no, just kidding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and like they had doggies and they were running through the forest. And he takes, he has like a little thingy beacon thing and he sticks it to a rock. And then he gets captured because he gets to a cliff. Yeah. And when someone is being chased in a movie or show and they get to a cliff, they either jump or get captured. And he got captured. Kanan jumped. <laughs> <laughs> quite a few jedi have jumped in that situation well that's because they can they yeah can gregor jump. can't gregor's no. just, yeah he's just a human boy yeah so that's how the episode starts and you're like whoa who's this clone uh and then we go to the bad batch and they're on their ship and they're either on their way to a mission for sid or on their way back from a mission for sid mm-hmm. I can't remember but they're going one way or another and they get a call from Rex and Rex has a little like little hood on. He's like being real like sneaky about it. I didn't recognize it. him for a second. I don't know well, why. See, they I all just... look the same. That's the problem. Yeah, they're... <laughs> and then they all want to wear their hoods and cover up their armor markings and it's like, bro. I mean, I that's a good job are. for other people to like, you know, not notice them, but. <laughs> yeah, I just like, yeah. Uh, like some of them had it right with like their face tattoos and mm-hmm. stuff just saying uh no but so rex calls and rex is like i got a distress signal from like a clone you need to rescue him and hunter is in tech i think tech too is kind of like well like Meh. no he's like you know we have to do our job and get paid and echo's like well you know if you guys hadn't rescued me from the separatists i would be dead and like and wrecker is like wrecker and omega are like we gotta save him and eventually omega convinces hunter that they're gonna go save this they're like it's a rag they're like yeah <sighs> well, like he's such a cool rag. i know well and this was the point where i was like okay who is this clone and i was trying to think of like characters it could be because I, like, I was trying to think of like regular clones that don't like paint up their stuff or like get funky hair that Rex would know, but like all the characters I could think of were dead. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> and I was like, I, I Gregor didn't even cross my mind until like they actually revealed it was Gregor. But I was trying to think, and I didn't. I just didn't think of Gregor. I'm ashamed of myself. Shame, shame on you. I I was just I like, was like, yeah, it's some dude. I, don't know, <laughs> I, wasn't I was like, I was like. I think and I, I eventually you know was kind of like I guess it must be some dude because I was like everyone's like dead or has like face tattoos or something so you know it'd yeah. be like that I do clones um <laughs> but yes and then the there's like a shot of the Kaminoans um yeah we go back to Kaminoans for like a brief scene mm-hmm and they're talking to Imperial dudes and they're getting scared and planning on 
leaving running away yeah because you know the empires doesn't need them anymore and we do hear i think he talks to crosshair that guy and he's like you know he's like oh you know what we're gonna do once we don't need them anymore it's like well sucks to be a Kaminoid. yeah <laughs> except for um, the scientist no yeah they want to keep the scientist because they can use her but they're like we don't need a, a politician which is like the head head honcho guy mm-hmm. so yeah that's that little tidbit they're like hey in case you forgot Kaminoans exist yeah that was that was a little sad well, like, it's weird the Kaminoans are like because like they kind of suck but like you know yeah they just they're they're interesting (laughs) i don't know i don't know how to feel about them but i did feel like scared for him because he just got locked in with like two uh stormtroopers and i was like oh yeah well there he goes (laughs) um so yes, yeah, so then we go back to the Bad Batch and they go to this planet. It's called Daro. And Tack is like, Daro has like nothing. There's nothing registered on this planet. Like, where would he be here? Just in the forest? Mm-hmm. So they poke around a little bit. They leave Wrecker and Omega on the ship and they find like a giant, giant facility thing in like Set some cliffs. Up. Yes. Yeah. I thought that was cool. And so it's like, well, obviously that's where he is. So they break in. Mm-hmm. And they just, um, there's a shot with Gregor. And he's like, hey, newbie, come get me some food. I was like, wow, this man has a lot of attitude. I love him. And he's like giggling. <laughs> yeah. And, and that, so that's when like, I should have realized it was Gregor. But I didn't. I was just like, oh, he's just kind of weird. <laughs> a little weird. <laughs> um. I just thought it was funny because I was like, yeah, I, I think I'm going to like this man. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, later they go in and save him. And he, and they're like, who are you? He's like, oh, I'm Gregor. And I'm like, that's that's why I love you. <laughs> that's why you're great. I understand now. Um, uh, but he had like all throughout their like interactions, he like giggles sometimes. Yeah. And it's Which he does in Rebels-ish too. A lot. Yeah. So, Which is interesting. Yeah, but they break in, find Gregor sitting in his cell. And they get him out, and that's when Gregor is like, "Oh, you can call me." Well, they tech goes CC whatever. They say his number. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what they had been calling him. And then Gregor's like, "You can just call me Gregor." He's like giggling, and they're like, "Oh, okay, hi, Gregor." <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. So they have their plan to get out, and tech goes to do something with like doors or elevators or something i forget yeah um but he uses his like republic like clone army codes that they had been using for like i guess the entire war and they set Mm -hmm. off the alarm because those aren't the codes anymore yeah which like it's a smart thing that they did that but now there is no advantage there yeah no tech had a good idea just it just didn't I mean work. now they know <laughs> yeah they know now <laughs> um yeah so they set up the alarm and now every clone oh this is where we learned like the big thing so they're not doing clone troopers anymore they have stormtroopers and they have like you said earlier the Macquarie helmets and stuff that are really mm-hmm. cool like that concept art thing they um, shields. yeah yeah and so they're stormtroopers and they're not clones. They're people being trained and the clone commandos are training them. And Gregor had been taken to Daro to train the stormtroopers, but he didn't want to do that. That's why I tried to escape and get, got in contact with Rex and all that. Um, what was the other thing? What did I say? Something. Oh, and Gregor said like, he trained them poorly on purpose because <laughs> he didn't like them, which I thought was very funny. Yeah. He, yeah, he talks about how he didn't, like, show them everything, and I think yeah. he's very smart in a strange way. Yes. 
Uh, so they escape. They basically just like have a chase through the facility and all the hallways, and they get to like the reactor, like exhaust vent, mm-hmm. something like that, like a vent out to the mountain, to the beautiful mountainside. And they go out there and they get in a shootout. And Gregor gets shot in the chest twice. He gets shot like twice. Yeah. Yeah, like Which... in like square in the chest, like like that would kill. Any character that doesn't have to live because plot. But I think because his clone commando armor. I just, think so too. Because we did see in this episode one of the other clone commandos. They had to stun him like three times. Because mm-hmm. they were stunning people. They yeah, weren't they shooting. weren't killing anyone. They were stunned. I mean, they did. I think pretty sure they kind of knocked someone like off of the mountain. So. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure no. they did. No, that did because they go in and they're like at the, the they didn't kill him. They the stormtroopers shot him like twice and he fell off the cliff. It wasn't it wasn't bad bad. Okay, <laughs> so okay, I see. They only moved but him in the middle. They moved <laughs> the fall killed him. Yeah, but it didn't. It wasn't them that okay. pushed. Okay, him. I see. Um. They did also kind of push someone into the way of the other guy's blaster bolts too. Yeah, that's but what I was referring to. No, I was talking when they um didn't they like kind of knock someone off the edge into the like off the mountain. I thought they did. Maybe. So uh, that guy's that guy's dead, but this mostly one. they didn't wonder, kill anyone. Well, and you know what? I if they had been killing people, you know, they're getting shot at like. Yeah. It's the same That's thing what... people are like, oh well, like if Finn knows stormtroopers are like brainwashed, why why does he shoot them? Because they're shooting him. <laughs> Do people get shot? That's how it works. You know? Don't I blame Finn for that. I think it's interesting though, because they don't want to kill them. But like before the reason was because they're being brainwashed, they're brainwashed like clones, but now they're not clones. So yeah. why not just kill them? I mean, I think. Like, the commandos, at least, are, I don't know. I don't know what their deal is. Uh, maybe they're just trying not to make the Empire more mad than they already are of them. Uh, which, at this point, I don't think matters, but maybe to them, that's, like, you know. Perhaps. Uh, anyway, they are getting away. Um, and they have, like, Omega and Wrecker come and take the ship around. And then, the, like, ships attack them so there's like a little air battle and then they come and they get i think first they get like tech and echo and then they get attacked again the ship has to leave so it's just wreck or hunter and gregor still fighting for a bit then they come back around and gregor gets on the ship and hunter goes to get on the ship but they get knocked and hunter falls yes that was very concerning and he didn't die so like he didn't die he fell through the trees like rambo the other stormtroopers, they didn't, maybe they didn't die. Maybe they didn't, you know? Um, yeah, Hunter gets his fall broken by some trees. And then he rolls down a little hill. And he, he loses his blaster in the fall, too, I think. He just has his knife. His little knifey knife. I think so, yeah. Um, and he gets kind of surrounded by, like, a commando and some of the stormtroopers. And he's just standing there with his knife. And he tells them all to leave tech. without him yeah and te- n- none tech of them want to really hesitate no. no tech hesitated it wasn't really till hunter <laughs> no it wasn't until hunter was like that's an order that tech finally did because at first tech wasn't even treating leaving hunter like an option he was just like oh we'll figure out how to come get you and hunter was like no and it wasn't until hunter really ordered him that tech finally did but the whole time omega's like she's like hunter yeah, <laughs> she, can't. she doesn't want to leave, but they kind of have to. Like, yes, yeah. is... no, they're because they're all, they're while this is happening, they're still being chased by ships and like, which are like the ships kind of look like cool, but also because they're like pre Tie Fighter ish. Yes, so everything's like, very like that style soon. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, so they leave. That's the last we see them. And then the very last scene, we have Hunter sitting in a cell like Gregor was. And who shows up? Crosshair. Yay. His mu- I hate him, but his music is so cool. He does. There's really cool music in that scene. Because, like, I for- I completely forgot because, like, the music started and I was like, 
wow that's really really cool music oh ew it's crosshair (laughs) (laughs) but crosshair shows up and that's yeah a reunion on -on one-on-one reunion (laughs) (laughs) um what does crosshair say he says uh Uh, i was expecting the whole team but you'll do just fine yes something like that something Um, edgy yeah so yeah um that's scary yeah that was an episode i'm curious exactly what he means by that we do know that kaminoans were wanting one of the clones they were looking for omega but they said just one of the clones to make like an advanced army Mm. so they have hunter um hunter kind of has in my opinion one of the least useful (laughs) advancements for a whole (laughs) army you know i mean it's good you need some hunters in there with his like electromagnetic whatever thing right but also it's like but like a whole army like like i would want wreckers personally (laughs) I would want a mix between a wrecker and a hunter. Yeah. Well, I just because like I've said before on the podcast and stuff like, you know, I'm like, yeah, the bad batch tech is like super techie and he's cool. Wrecker wrecks things and crosshair shoots things and um, Echo does nothing. Hunter sniffs things out. He's, he's, yeah he's, he's a dog <laughs> he's the dog that they let be in charge he's a dog that yeah is now a leader for some yeah. reason yeah I, I feel like you would want mostly wreckers and crosshairs maybe some text to like lead and be strategist mm-hmm. um like you, you could have a few hunters for like your like, stealthy missions but, yeah i don't know ideally if i had to pick one to have an army of it's wrecker <laughs> That's fair. Yes. That was the episode. Very exciting. I look forward to where it takes us next week. Um, Because, you know, now they have to go back for Hunter. And I wonder if they're going to keep Hunter here on Daro or move him to Kamino. Because I just feel like the whole series is going to go back to Kamino. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if they're going to take him there. Yeah, they they might. It's I mean the whole thing with like still like tied on Omega, you know like, yeah, we're never going back to Camino. No, that's (laughs) oh like oh they're going to Camino. Yeah. Yeah. So hmm. well I guess maybe well how many more episodes do we have? Just one more? We have two more. Two more. Okay. This is episode 14. So we have 15 and 16. Um, I wonder if there are names out for the episodes yet because they were a few times they were out a little early. No, not this time. Okay, well, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. anything else to say about War Mantle? No, not really. It's a, it's a really good episode. Yes. And, uh, you know, I love Gregor. Gregor's cool. And now we kind of know how Gregor and Rex possibly come together. Because, yes. you know. But, um, and now next person is Wolf. Yeah, we gotta learn about Wolf next. Which, like, I don't think we're gonna see that in Bad Batch, but, no. like. No. Maybe uh, next, if there's a second season. Maybe next yeah. season. But not not in the next two episodes when there's so much left. <laughs> no, for our main characters, um, we just see Wolf in the background. We're like, <laughs> hey, I mean, maybe like when you know, I assume maybe they'll show us like Gregor and Rex reuniting, and maybe Wolf will like already be there. Mm-hmm. Who maybe. knows? <laughs> we will see. We'll see. Um. Yeah, that was the episode. There is, I said there was no Star Wars news earlier. I lied. There is Star Wars wow. news. There is going to be a Lego Halloween special called Star Wars Terrifying Tales on Disney Plus on October 1st. Yay. And I like the Lego holiday special that they did last year. So 
I'm excited for a Halloween special. It looks like it's going to follow Poe in Vader's castle. Um, mm-hmm. Learning about creepy stories. This is learning about... So it's along the way, Benet, who's going to be one of the new characters, shares three creepy stories linked to an ancient linked to ancient artifacts and iconic villains from across all areas eras of Star Wars. Hmm. So it's Poe. The characters listed are Poe, BB-8. Uh, and the new characters are Dean and Vene. Nice. Yes. So very, very good. Star Wars news. And it says, with the help of Dean, Poe and BB-8 will have to face their fears, stop an ancient evil from rising, and escape to make it back to their friends. <gasps> Palpatine too. <laughs> what? This is an ancient evil rising. It's going to be Palpatine again. He'll, um, he'll go somehow Palpatine has returned again. I'm going to, I'm going to cry. <laughs> it's Palpatine again. <laughs> that would be so funny. No. I just can't, no can you imagine Poe just being like, somehow Palpatine has returned? Okay. <laughs> Squared. <laughs> Squared. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's really funny to me. <laughs> I get frustrated. Palpatine too. <laughs> oh, I mean, well, it would be Palpatine, Palpatine two, and then Palpatine three, right? Yeah. Pal- yeah. Palpatine three. Yes. Return of the Palpatine. Oh. <laughs> That would be, that'd be interesting. I hope it's not, but you know, if it is, that's fine. <laughs> funny? No, I, I don't think it will be. Um, I do think it'd be extremely funny if it was, but I don't I wonder, I wonder who it'll be in Vader's castle here. I don't um, know. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe the castle was bought by Grabala the Hutt. So very mm-hmm. curious about that re- real estate deal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Also, I, hmm. no, I guess not. Because I was thinking, I was like, do huts need to be slimy? Like, do, like does the temperature matter? And then I was like, oh, Tatooine. I yeah, like, oh. I was on Tatooine. Yeah. So I guess it doesn't matter. Well, plus, Mustafar is like not so lava y anymore. Hmm. Because in the Rise of Skywalker and in, apparently in the Vader VR games that I don't have the money to play because I don't have a VR headset, um, there's like, it just come, becomes like like a white, ashy kind of thing. Because mm-hmm. in the beginning of Rise of Skywalker where Kylo was like killing all those dudes, that was, that was Mustafar. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm sure it's still hot, but it's not so... I was so, going to say. Not so lava. lava e. Yes. Hmm. But yes, I think it was a good podcast. Excited for Lego Halloween specials. Um, yeah. Yes. What do you think? Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't have much else to say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was a podcast. We'll do the plugs, I guess. Um, so you can find the Star Wars Geek Girl Facebook page on Facebook at Star Wars Geek Girl, or on Instagram and Twitter at SW Geek Girl, uh, Star Wars Geek Girl dot com. There's a monthly poll, so you can vote for things. Uh, we do a quiz every Wednesday, um, and blog articles on Fridays and I've been doing book reviews on Mondays lately I've had a little more time to read I don't know how long that'll last but for now I have a few um oh and also we just gave away our record helmet to someone we did a giveaway live stream the winner was mm-hmm. named Logan Dean so congratulations nice enjoy your record helmet yes congrats yes do you want to do the Rogue Rebels Works. Yes. So you can find us our website therogrebels.com. Instagram is the Rogue Rebels, as well as TikTok and Twitch is Rogue Rebels. Uh, Axel streams 3 p.m. Uh, Western time uh, on Thursdays, and then you know 
Eastern to 6 p.m. Oh, I wonder if you start school again soon, right? So Yeah. I so. don't know. Well, it'll be replaced by probably me and dad soon. Ah, I see. When I go over in I like see how that a week or two. <laughs> I understand. Yes. Uh, I'm trying to get my dad to play Last of Us 2 with me because we beat the first one. And I was like, wow, that was a cool father-daughter moment. Now um, there's a whole second one. <laughs> um, anyway, and then there's uh, our podcast. You can find the podcast wherever you find Star Wars Geek Girl. Uh, Facebook page is The Rogue Rebels and Twitter is at Rogue Rebels Fan where they will be tweeting my dad or Zoe <laughs> every now and me. then. <laughs> correcting your quizzes. Yes. Um, yeah. All right. Well, that was the podcast. I was Zoe. I was Lizzie. Thank you for listening to Star Wars Geek Girl. May the force be with you. Star Wars Geek Girls. They're geek girls that like Star Wars. And sometimes cry.